Where are you going, honey? I want to go see what all they left up here because they said they were moving, but they didn't move to Oklahoma. That's for sure. I believe they're moving here. Let's go look. Good grief. Look at all this. They said they were moving out. There's cat stuff. There, there's cat stuff everywhere. Their water pit, her makeup, their hair cutters, their toothpaste, hair dryer. Let me see. Oh. See? Look at all that. They can't be moving if it's all here. I don't, I don't get it. It's their cat. They ain't leave. Look, there's babes, babes right there. You know Jaylena's not going to leave that cat. Look, they left all their, their gardening stuff, their clothes. Yeah. Look at this. Look at all this. Look they, at this stuff. They ain't moved out. <laughs> I don't know what y'all, why y'all telling people y'all are moving? That, that's just wrong. Look at all this stuff. Man. Jeez, I, I, I don't know. I, I thought they said they were going to go to Oklahoma, but this don't look like Oklahoma to me. Me either. Where to now? Well, come on, let me show you. They, they say that they're leaving. <laughs> look, they even bought a, a sack of dog food and left their dog food here. Hmm. And, and now here in the garage, I came out this morning to... to uh, to look around and I was like, what is this? What is this? It's all their stuff. I'm gonna have to move this way because I can't see. Dang, I, I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you I should have changed the door code on the garage. I told you that. I can't believe this. They came in the middle of the night, opened up the garage, left their crap in here. I'm like, I thought they were moving. They laughed. I thought they took everything. I, I did too. I mean, they were they were like, "Hey, we're uh, you know, we're having a hard time, you know, feeling, you know, like we own anything." And uh, I, I know they were discussing it in the last few days about, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, build out there at the ranch. They moved the trailer, or we're going to build on that, and then I wake up to this. I'm like, well, what's going on? Now, wait a minute. You saw a big bag of dog food. We might better go check out back. Oh, Lord. If if the cats are here. Don't tell me. Let's go look. Oh. We got, what, uh, three dogs or four dogs? <laughs> we got four dogs. We got four one's dogs inside. And, 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 and one cat. You know? And then they leave a bag of dog food. I'm like, and... and Cat litter. Look, they bought a, a month's worth of cat litter. Uh oh. Something, something's happening. I don't know. Let's go look. God, look at all these dogs. They're here. They look at look at my yard. Oh my god. <laughs> they dumped the dogs off too. Look at them all. <sighs> There's Watson. What in the world? Sarge is ours, but he's fleeing the coop because there's so many other dogs. What's the dog food doing over there? I, I don't know. Look at them all. They just, I guess last night before they took off. They dumped their dogs? Just threw food out on the floor and dumped their dogs and they're gone. What is this? They're chewing up our freaking pole? Oh, man. Look at that. They are eating our Post in the porch. Are these these dogs are nuts? Hey, hey. Watson, did you do that? Hey, Watson. What? what? Watson, Look, did you <laughs> chew the, the pole? You're the, you're the matriarch of all these little mutts around here. <laughs> why, why don't you teach them manners? And then old old Tex. I thought we had him trained. Now he's being all misguided and misguided by their dogs. Yeah. And, you know, teach them how to do bad things. Look out here. Take Just the, take a look. Up. Where'd they find all these beer cans? We don't even drink beer. God. 
Oh, you know what? This is Matt's brand. Matt and them. Oh man, they uh, look at they tore they they emptied the trash can out there. Oh no, <sighs> guys. And they said that they, no wonder they left these dogs here. Man, they just abandoned them and abandoned us. They just took off and abandoned all of us. You know, just came in in the night and just left everything and they loved on us and yeah you know i thought they were gonna you know be upstairs and all and come out and their truck's gone next thing i know i see them on video saying they're almost oklahoma okla freaking homa I, and then we get a text from jared saying oh my god they're coming back and i i said what he said yeah they said they're coming back up here and i was like whoa darn you know, I, I thought they was going to build out there at the ranch, but I guess not. I don't know. That's... They made our hearts full to bursting, and yeah, then they... Yeah, they come down for four months and say, hey, we love y'all. We're going to live down here. We're going to take care of you. We're going to do everything for you and and uh, all these projects, and they're gone. They just left everything. And then look at little Watson. Look at him. Look at little Watson. How could they leave that little darling? Yeah. Wayne Watson, are you watching this? Poor guy. Gets abandoned. Bandit. Bandit. They ain't coming back, baby. They left us all. They just... They deserted us. You might as well love on him like he's your new daddy. You know what I bet? I bet this is all for Malarkey. For that stupid YouTube? They're up there. So anything y'all see them doing up there, I guarantee it's going to be all green screen. They ain't, don't believe nothing that you see on their videos because they're probably, you know... They're doing clickbait, aren't they? they? They're probably... They probably went to town and stayed the night just to jack with us. And they probably went to a motel up there? I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird. You know, we come home or we wake up and we find it. All this mess, all the mess in the garage, all the mess upstairs, <laughs> and they said that they're moving? Nah. I think they lying. I think they're just jacking with all of us. So they, you think they're just doing this for views? I, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that you talk about clickbait. Clickbait. Everything they do is going to be on green screen. Don't believe it. So I think they sh the folks should start just watching the Crocker Simply Southern and just give up on those other Crockers. What do you think? That's right. We're the only ones that are straightforward. We know what we're doing. That's right. We tell it like it is. We show it like it is. We're settled. We have our own home. We we're we're we, mature. We're, we're nomads. Yeah. We're permanent settlers. Right. Right. I just don't know about them. It hmm. just, it's ridiculous. I agree. It's ridiculous. They break our hearts, you know. They love up on us and get all sweet and gushy and make us relive all those moments so and then I, I guess, leave. I guess maybe they did go up to Jared's or something, but they sure abandoned everything here. And I thought, well, gee, golly whiz, must not be something permanent because it looks more permanent in our house. Yes, it does, uh, including their animals. I tell you what. Bandit, can you believe Jaylena left you? Oh, now you're all up into dad, so oh, yeah. you don't care about yeah, Jaylena? You're going to beg me for for your happiness now. <laughs> I tell you what, I just don't know, Mom. Nope. Well, what do you think we should do? Yeah, maybe we can have a garage sale. Good idea! Yeah. Half of it's in the garage anyway. All we gotta do is just open up the door. Free pups with the whatever they buy, we'll just give them a bonus. That's a good idea, honey. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go do it. I think so. All yeah. right. All right. Step in, dog. Do. Jason Crocker, you come back here and get these dang dogs. My dogs don't poop in the yard. I don't step in poop. Yeah, I don't know where y'all are at, but. You it know, stinks. Y'all just, I think y'all just went on a vacation and y'all just jacked them with and just left all the crap here for us to take care of. Look, Jason, I done raised your, your body for all them years. You took off and left me with all this junk. 
<sighs> I don't even know what to do. Me either. Let's go sell their crap. All right, let's do it. Now, nah, but seriously, folks, um, we're going to miss them very much. Uh, if get, they move. If they move. I mean, they're still an option, but it's more than likely that they'll they'll probably settle on someplace different, that they can have fun and and uh, be on their own and things like that. Uh, it's like, you know, we had discussed, and uh, I told Jason that it, it would probably be uh, and like I did from the very beginning, I told him it would probably be better if once we have the land separated and, and I know which part is mine that I can just deed to them, um, then they can do whatever they want on it. Uh, we're in the process of, of um, litigation right now as far as when I say litigation. Uh, we're just conferring with lawyers on how to do the separation and and that way everybody would be satisfied and, and have equal shares and things like that. So there won't be any issues at that point. If, if the kids don't settle somewhere else and they want to come back down here, at least they'll have their land that they can go and do whatever they want on. Um, but it is heartening for us. You know, it's disheartening. It's, it, it, it hurts, you know. I, I cried. I, Mom cried. And, they cried and, you know, but I think it's probably the best thing at this point. I do. I told Jason that um, I had a heart to heart with him and I told him that this past three or four months has been awesome. It has. When Jason left home, he was just a little boy and when he came back, he was he was still a little boy to but us. He's, to me, he's, he's he has, grown up a lot. He has manned up these last four months. You know, and Jolena, and, too. And, and what they did out at the ranch was wonderful. Um, you know, it, it, it helped everybody. Um, we love them. We, we know that it was the only way that it could have been done is the, the opportunity that they had to come down and do what they needed to do for the 100-day challenge. We didn't expect them to live down here, uh, Permanently. you know, during that time and everything. And then afterwards they thought, well, maybe we could do this. But they always told us, they said, well, even if we do build a little house out there, he said, it's probably not going to be our permanent home or our you forever, know, home. Their forever home, you know, but we, we know that. And, and, uh, but if they have a forever home, somewhere here in Texas or anywhere, it doesn't matter, as long as they're happy. They always have a place to come back to. And I want them to be happy, but I want them to be happy in Texas. I told Jason, Texas is a mighty big state. You really don't need to go looking elsewhere. But he's a grown man, and um, honestly, he has grown so much over this past months. Y'all all know the things that they went through. And um, yeah. It's hard, you know, like I said, they were gone for so long. Jason probably left and... He was gone for like 15 years. And, yeah. And uh, when I had him back down here and we got to work together and be together and things like that, it it mended a lot of bad um, vibes that Jason and I had through growing up, you know, clashing of heads and this Father, and that. Father, stuff. He's, he's as stubborn as I am. <laughs> and uh, but actually, he's worse, I think. But anyway... Oh, he's like me, you're saving yeah <laughs> but anyway uh they know what they want to do uh they want to be happy that's what they want to do and it's at the expense of breaking our hearts yeah but, <laughs> but uh everybody has to do their thing you know so. and uh we appreciate everybody reaching out we did see some things where everybody was saying where did the crockers go it, none of that stuff was planned no um, and and, the, and we all kind of held off on putting anything out because we were in the process of discussing all this and and uh, we just didn't want to put anything out and they didn't want to put anything out and um, but in all honesty we did try to put out a few videos for you guys uh, one day I filmed us I was washing clothes he was mowing I filmed all the animals I filmed Christmas decorations George edited it put music to it the best I could and then I looked at it. I had my eyes dilated that day, and I said, "Is that blurry, or is that just my eyes?" He goes, "No, honey, it's all blurred." <laughs> and I said, "Well, we can't put that on there." And uh, and then when he did the oil field video, he had some 
editing issues and it took a reloads couple of days. And uploads and you know, reloads and so it, it takes a lot of time. It really does. So it was, you know, we just couldn't put anything out because we weren't getting good material. And then the last few days, of course, has been with Jason and Jaylena. And, yeah. um, I mean, they, they got all their stuff from the ranch and I told them just uh, leave it here, leave the dogs here. We made a decision that uh, leave the cats, leave the dogs, leave all your stuff here at the house, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, a little Backyard, neater, hopefully. In the garage, we wanted a little in neater, the barn. but that's okay, Jason and Jaylena. <laughs> uh, we know that it'll be all picked up one of these days. It's going to uh, be just like you left it when you get back, just telling y'all. <laughs> right, but after seeing all y'all's crap, that y'all brought in, you're going to need a bigger U-Haul, I think, than what we were talking about. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway. Um, so the Crockers are all okay, and as far as the real Matt Crocker goes, he was not involved in any of this. He just hasn't found the videos to put out he yet. He didn't know anything about no, this. No, and neither, we, we, neither we did Jared until yesterday. We didn't discuss anything with anybody but Jason and Jaylena because... It was nobody's business but Jason and Jaylena's, you know, so. But they put the video out there for y'all that what they're doing, and we just wanted to give y'all our side of it and um, just know that we're heartbroken, but we're old and, codgers. We can make it. You know, they, they'll they always come back, you know, one way or the other, you know, to visit, or maybe they might even get a wild hair and say, you know what? We're tired of the snow and the cold and the tornadoes. We want to come back down to Texas where it's hot and dry and sandy. And Yeah, Jason. So if you're watching this in Jaylena, snow, snow, snow. Do you really want to live in the snow? <laughs> It'll be fun for a little bit until that uh, trailer you're living in is like a little igloo. <laughs> but no. Uh, we love Jaylena and, and uh, Jason, and we just want what's best for them. It, no matter what, um, it's just it's like anybody else, you know. It's it's hard for the, you know, for the mamas and daddies. Yeah, but, but we'll be watching them along with y'all to see what they're doing up there. Just like we always had. That way we can keep up with them every day. And you know, and old Jared, he's a corker. I tell you, um, joking about. Dutch, living with Dutch up there and all that kind of stuff. Good luck, Dutch, if you uh, let them on your property. But anyway, uh, uh, and Daniel, <laughs> watch Dutch's. And uh, if Jason and them do end up on their property, I think you need to build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Daniel Arms? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, no, guys. All, all fun set aside. We love our kids, and we want what's best for them. And, and if this is the choice they make, then that's what we want. We want their happiness. That's all that matters. And I know I'm getting repaid because I left my mother when I was 19 to move to Texas. Now I'm getting repaid. They're moving out of state. Yeah. They, asked, they said, well, why don't you sell and move up or move and this and that. I have so many things here. You know, my mom and some family and and uh, you know the land and things like it's just our not home. it's yeah our <laughs> home you know we've been here for you know what thirty something years thirty four years we moved and, uh, in when I was uh, six months pregnant with Jason and Jerry so you know we're stable we're we're set in our ways and so we'll probably never move you know that's like Melly said I think I'm gonna go across the highway and and mow my uh, Cemetery plot to keep it up because I know that's where I'm going to be. The Crockers have plenty of room over there and I might as well just go ahead and pick out my spot and keep it mowed because I know. I've been saying that for a long time. I know that's where I'm going to be. So, <laughs> but, Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed our uh, attempt at humor with Jason and Jaylena and y'all just keep watching all the Crockers. You know, and like I said, I have... Uh, issues, uh, the bilateral maneuvers, and, and it doesn't allow me to uh, drive long distances. Uh, I can drive short distances, so you know uh, I don't uh, jeopardize our our safety. But uh, so as far as being able to just drive up and see them, uh, that won't happen. 
Uh, not unless I... But we can drive to the airport and fly. Yeah, we can do that. Um, All right, Gabe, you couldn't go. Or I can just lease a travel motor home and have Matt drive us. Mm-hmm. You know, then we can go up and visit and have a place to stay besides a little tiny trailer. <laughs> or Jared's unfinished second bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry thought you were going to skate by. Didn't you? But uh, anyway, uh, we love our kids. Uh, we want y'all to love our kids. We, we love God and we want you to love God. That's we love right. America. And if you're living in America, we want you to love America. That's right. This is the Garden of Eden on Earth is United States. And uh, don't take offense to that France, Scotland, Ireland, etc. Right. But hey, home's where the heart is. So anyway, you guys, we appreciate y'all. Uh, Gooby loves y'all. He don't like me too much, but he loves y'all. Not right, Gooby. Not right. See? He's always wanting to bite me when I reach him. See? What can I say? Because he's hold, Mama's holding him. Anyway, I guess uh, we'll let our old saddened hearts heal. So I guess we'll talk to you next time, huh? Bye, guys. <laughs>